Hello everybody, I'd like to share some of the tools of our success with you and today we're meeting with Joe Potvin with Design to Market Home Staging. Um, Joe's going to talk to us a little bit about some of the benefits of home staging, whether you have a vacant home or a home that you occupy, and not just uh, the inside of the home, but possibly the outside of the home, some tips and tricks and things that are very important when you're considering the sale of a home. Joe? Yes, hi. Well, just to give you a little bit of a history, we for over eight years have been working with clients throughout Cincinnati, helping them put their best foot forward when marketing their homes. And I know we've had some great successes working together. Absolutely. So um, what we do in working with a client is essentially assist them by putting on the hat of the most challenging buyer. Our thought process is that if we can go in and review the home, inside, outside, looking at all the different spaces, and help them decide how can I most effectively spend the limited resources that I want to spend to make my house look the best, where can I get the most bang for the buck and what can I do to compete effectively in the market? Great, great. And is this an, is this an expensive venture to have your services come through? Or what can somebody expect for an initial consultation? Our initial consultation is $185. And with that, we go through the home room by room. We're there about an hour and a half in total and our initial walkthrough is about 30 minutes and myself and one of our designers walk through and look at the home from a lot of different perspectives. Are the walls, are the, is the paint on the walls a current color? Are the light fixtures a look that's going to meet expectations? Are things tidy? Are furnishings arranged in a way that show the home to its best advantage? Now the thing that's really the key in this process is that we're looking at this from two angles. You have to have great photos on the web to compete and get people in. And then once they're there, they have to really love the home. So when we're going through this process, we'll stand at the entry to a room and say, okay, how does this room look? And what's the camera gonna capture? Will it get somebody to schedule a prospective buying appointment? And then once they're there, will they understand how to live in the home? And will it stack gotcha, up? Gotcha, gotcha. And would you say that there's different challenges with vacant homes versus occupied homes? Yeah, the challenge with vacant homes can be, ironically, the two extremes. Small homes with smaller rooms look a lot smaller when they're empty. Large rooms, large homes with maybe open floor plans that people maybe don't understand how to live in a space can be very challenging. And the other piece is when there's not the interest of furnishings to focus on, the bar gets raised in terms of imperfections in the home. So sometimes it becomes a little more expensive proposition if you've got to paint more rooms, maybe you have to replace carpet that you may not have to replace if furnishings are in place. So vacants can be challenging. Gotcha. And from what I understand, Joe, you have recently gone into some homes that had been on the market for quite some time and after your uh, services, they've gotten overwhelmed with uh, showing activity. Is that correct? It's true. It's amazing when we go, especially to a home that's been on the market, and the feedback has been maybe lukewarm or maybe there hasn't been a lot of activity, we'll go through, and just to step back a little bit, that staging process, we will go in and identify those things that need to happen. And we'll walk through with the homeowner and share why we've come up with the ideas what our plan is and what the logic is on asking that they spend money to do certain changes in their home. Then we do a written report as follow-up with full details, paint color numbers, examples of light fixtures, ways that furniture should be arranged. Some clients take that, run with that report, implement it, and they're all set to go. Other clients at the other extreme say, you know what, thank you for the information. It has to happen. You do it. And they may hire us to take care of it. And then there are those in the middle. But time and again, we're brought to client situations where maybe for a matter of months, and even sometimes for a matter of a year, a home's been on the market, it's been lukewarm, and really they've been almost things I could categorize as tweaking that make all the difference when you make a few changes and update a few things it can really change the whole perspective of that home on the market. Gotcha. And Joe's absolutely correct. There's, there's two stages to selling the home. It's one, getting somebody there, and number two, once they get there, visualizing themselves and how the home functions. So I think her services are very, very uh, uh, 
what's the best way I can put it? They're, they're very worth the avenue to take when you have a challenging market and a challenging home to sell. And um, I think it would be worth it for you to take a minute and give Joe a call and uh, get your home ready to sell this season.